Hey everyone, welcome back to x Extras, and today I have a very interesting story for you. So basically, after school today, I decided to go to the library with my friend. And in the library, we have these little cubicles. And I was sitting there, you know, talking with him, hanging out, doing some homework, and then I decided to get on the floor and look at something, because I thought I saw something at the back wall. Um, what I thought I saw was just a piece of metal, so I'm like, oh, okay, it's just a piece of metal. And then as I was getting out, I turned my head to see this <laughs> an iPad and it was one of the old school iPads here's the thing um, I plugged in the serial number printed on the back of the iPad into the Apple serial number checker and it gave me a purchase date of March 2019 which based on my knowledge means that the person who owned this iPad is no longer attending my school because they graduated the year before they graduated this year actually 2023 um, so, from my conclusions, I drew that this iPad has probably seen, been sitting in that spot for at least two years. My reasoning for that is because maybe this kid smashed his iPad or dropped something on it and completely ruined it to that point and just left it there. And this must have happened in around mid-2021 because in junior year at my school, you get new devices and I'm assuming this is that and at first when I plugged it into a computer it wasn't really being detected it still had probably all the students information on it I couldn't tell because see if I turn on the screen it's it's basically like destroyed the LCD is destroyed obviously so you couldn't see anything that was on the screen and I had no idea what was happening but I knew it worked until I got home today I plugged in my iPad to my desktop to use three U tools, and then I had, and it still wasn't being detected. So I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? Because I have an idea that I am going to fix up this iPad. All it needs is a screen replacement, uh, because I'm sure the school doesn't care about an iPad that's been left in the library for two years. And God, let me tell you, that thing was disgusting when I first found it. Here's a picture of that. It's it's freaking gross. So then I had the idea. Oh, I'm gonna put it in DFU mode to restore it. DFU mode worked, iTunes finally was detecting the iPad, did a restore, I finally went to the screen, and now three utils could see the iPad. Big win. But the big loss is, because it's a school iPad, it still had the management software on it. So, um, I did a little trick that I know of on how to get the management software off of the school iPads. I did the thing, management thing worked, um, got onto the iPad, and I set it up. You may be asking, how did I set it up? Well, um, you see why I have it plugged in? It's still plugged into my computer. So what you see in front of you is 3U Tools, 3U Player. As you can see, let me put the iPad up here. Turn it on. There's stuff on the screen, but you can't see it. But there it is on my computer. Let me put in Touch ID. Boom. Here I am interacting with the iPad, no problem. But I, I'm using the, the, the computer to see it, which is so cool that I, I now have a perfectly... Uh, I think the camera works as well. Oh, that's the weather app. Okay, I want to test out the camera app. Camera works perfect. Oh. Seems like it is kind of struggling sometimes. I have no idea what just happened. Uh, Well, I guess I'll have to figure it out later. But currently my plan is the iPad's going to stay like this. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to eventually do a screen replacement, and I'm probably going to make a video on x Productions for that. It's not going to be the easiest to do, but like the upside is I get, it, I get a free iPad. Well, not free, because it's going to be like a $60 to $80 repair. Uh, thanks for watching this wacky tale.